Change Geolocation Location Guard is a browser extension that lets you easily change your geographical location to a desired value and protect your privacy. To go ahead and start using this extension, we first add it to our browser. After this extension has been added to our browser, we can then pin it to our toolbar. To do this, we simply go up here on the puzzle piece, left click and then left click on the pin option. Now inside our toolbar, we see this small marker. Green means it's currently in an active or on state and grayscale means that it's currently inactive or off. So left clicking on this turns the extension on and off. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and look at what our current location is. To do this, we have to allow our location within the browser like so. Now it grabs this information. So it says the degrees in longitude and latitude. And by default, this is set as Greenwich in the UK, London. So let's go ahead and check this on a third party website to give us a map view. So we can go to a new tab and we can go to browserleaks.com forward slash geo. Again, it will ask us to allow our location permissions. Upon doing so, here we go, we see the map view of the location and it is indeed the default Greenwich in London. So now we want to go ahead and start looking to change some of these values. So to do this, we open the options panel. We right click on the browser toolbar and we select options. Inside here, we now see all the options of this extension. So we have the option to set the altitude, the option to set the heading, which is the direction in which it should be pointing, the speed at which it should be moving if this is related to the task that you're performing, as well as the latitude, the accuracy of that and the longitude. We can also set the altitude accuracy as well, as well as a current timestamp um, to show the nearest time to this point. So depending on the task or privacy that you're looking to achieve, we can set some of this data or all of this data. It's completely up to you. So let's go ahead and change the longitude and latitude. To do this, we need to go to a website that allows us to find these variations. So you can find these maybe on Google Maps if you look at the map there, or we could go to a third party site such as latlong.net. And here again, we see the information to just type in a place name and give us the details. So let's change our location to Rome in Italy. And here we go, we have the longitude and latitude. So let's grab the latitude and then we go back to the options panel. Put this in place for latitude. And then the longitude, we go back again. So we put this in place here. Now this automatically saves the details, there's no need to click a button to do so. Now we go back to this test here and let's refresh the page. Now we can see our location is just outside of Rome based on our longitude and latitude. So this is automatically updated inside the browser. If we go ahead and check the extension page and refresh. We can see this details are also the same matching the new content that we've set. So we could, for example, go ahead and add an altitude such as 200. Now we'll go ahead and refresh this page. And you can see that the altitude picks up here. You can then go ahead and change things like the accuracy, the speed, and the accuracy here for the altitude. Go ahead, refresh the page. And you can see all of these details have been set. All of the information that is required has now been set by the extension uh, option screen. Let's go ahead and look at another option as an example. So let's go ahead and change this to uh, Chicago, Illinois. And now we'll see the latitude here as well as the longitude. So we go ahead and grab that. And copy and paste these details one more time. Again, it automatically saves. Refresh the page. And here we go again, it's changed, it's kept our other details that we have set, such as the altitude, the heading and the speed. If you wish to use this inside of the um, incognito mode of your browser, you simply right click and then you select manage extensions and then select allow in incognito as we see here. Now this will work in both the standard version of your browser as well as the incognito mode.